Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. You know, today is Saturday, the 29th, I think, of July. And, you know, on the weekends, I only do one recording. And as you know, I've explained to you, I stay a week ahead on these recordings. So I'm always very busy. If I take a down day, never am I writing. I write every day. But if I take a down day, then I have to catch up. Amen. This morning I was doing my uh, devotion and I I had a um, very important alert, a word. And as I've explained to you folks in the past, I think in some of my videos, I've had a um, a check in my spirit about this fall. Uh, and some of you have commented to me and say, what is happening, Jackie? And I said, I, I don't know. I just feel something in the fall. So I can't shake it. I can't get rid of it. I don't know what God means. And yet today I sat down and I had my whole day planned in the natural and uh, got through a wrench in that. And I was going to put this word up tomorrow and move tomorrow's word, but I think it's very, very important. And what I would like for you all to do is everybody that listens, give it a thumbs up. What that does is move these uh, script, uh, these uh, videos through YouTube. We get more, uh, more responses. And I forget to tell you that all the time I do get some thumbs up, but not the numbers that I should with you folks listening to the videos. But that's right now. I want to stay focused on this word that the Lord gave me this morning. And I'm basically going to read you the scripture and just read you the word. I'll read it twice. Listen to this. And what I want you to do, please, is share this. Send this out to your friends and family, fellow believers, because something be ready. I've titled this, Be Ready, Be On Alert. Um, there's going to be an increase in activity, okay? So I'm just putting up a special video today, which I don't believe I've ever done. I've moved tomorrow's video, you know, to put this in its place, but I feel this is very important. So I'm getting it out today. Please listen, please share, please put thumbs up, um, and I will be done. I mean, that's all I know to pray uh, as we close in this video. Lord God, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So I'm going to read to you out of Matthew 24, and I'll start with 42. Therefore, be on alert. And this is what God is saying to me today. Therefore, be on alert, for you do not know uh, the day your Lord is coming. Uh, but be sure that this is the that. If the head of the house had known at the time of the night the thief was coming, he would have been on alert and would it not have allowed his house to be broken into. This is important, church. For this reason, you be ready too, for the Son of God is coming at an hour when you do not think. Who then is the faithful and sensible slave whom his master put in charge of his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is the slave whom his master finds so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you that he will put them in charge of all his possessions. But if the evil slave says in his heart, my master is not coming for a long time, and then shall begin to beat his fellow slaves and eat and drink with the drunkards. The master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him and an hour which he does not know and shall cut him into pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites weeping shall be there with gnawing of teeth. So, um, of course, this is, you know, the second coming, but we are preparing for the rapture. And I've sensed, and I'm not saying no man knows the day or the time, but I've sensed something in fall. I think the demonic uh, activity will increase. I don't know. People have asked me, you've written me in the comments, and now I get this word this morning. And um, I just feel the Holy Spirit all over me. It's time to read it. It's time to get the word out. Please send it out, church. Please put your thumbs up. Let's get this going across YouTube. Amen. 
uh, I know it's going to bear witness with many, many in the church. Amen. And if it doesn't bear witness with many, many in the church, maybe it's going to bring them into a new place of studying the last days. Amen. You know, everything around us, as some preachers stand on the pulpit and say is roses and it's all going to be good. We are under God's grace and mercy and we will be taken care of, but the pressure is mounting. Amen. Okay. Be ready and increase of activities. My lambs soon and very soon. Be ready, my child. Do not allow the world to tempt you. Watch and be ready. Be careful, child, what you see and where you go. The spirit of the world is running about. The enemy has no control in my children's lives, but he is in control on the streets. My lambs stay in my word. Stay in my word. In prayer, the pressure is mounting as my return will suddenly come. My lambs, I love you with all of my heart. I will be your light in the darkness. Fear not the future. Stay close to me this day. You are my valuable vessels chosen for such a day as this. You are my valuable vessels chosen for such a day as this. My lambs, you are my kindness on the dead streets. You are my kindness on the dead streets. I come for you as a thief in the night. Time is short. Open my pages. There are many secrets still to be revealed. You will soon see an increase of activity. Men will move more quickly now. Evil will increase more quickly. Do not be afraid. I am with you and I am in all things. Do not be afraid. I am with you and I am in all things. So fear not. No, I am the almighty God of the universe. I am in all things. All this is written in my pages. There will be, <clears throat> excuse me, there will be new speed, new forward momentum. Fear not, my lambs. I come so soon. You are chosen for such a day as this. You will see much confusion in the world around. Leaders and men in high places have been taken over by the dark forces of this world, led by the evil one. Fear not. No, the upcoming days are written in my word, but now I tell you to be prepared. Know my last pages so you will easily see what is happening upon the streets. Uh, again, my lambs, the spirit is with you, so fear not. So that's about four times he's told us to fear not. He's giving us wisdom. He's opening up his pages. He's revealing through his uh, spirit what is soon coming, church. Fear not. Thank you, Lord. You will feel the heat, but you will not be burned. Minister to those with the frightened faces. Some will come and some will continue to run. Woe to those. Their end is near. My lambs, I come not to frighten you, but to be ready for the fire is coming. Remember, my lambs, I love you with all of my heart. I hold you, my blood upon you, my grace and mercy go with you. Hold your loved ones, share my love and salvation with all. Fear not the days of head. I am with you until the ends of the earth and beyond. Glory to the Lamb forever and ever. And you know, just yesterday, the Lord gave me from my heart. Read it yesterday's recording, yesterday afternoon, Friday afternoon from my heart. It was God preparing me for this word, but this word was saying, stay in the word. Be careful who you listen to on YouTube from the pulpits. If there's false teachings, quickly leave. Amen. Know the book of Revelation. Line everything up according to the word of God. Line this up according with the word of God. But I feel like the Lord's been preparing me for this message over in the spirit over the last couple weeks. And now this message uh, suddenly birthed to me this morning. Amen. Although I've sensed this for months, I've shared it with you that the Lord has been giving me a warning that things are going to heat up in fall. He didn't exactly say it to me in that way. He said, fall, we will see things start to happen. And now, you know, this word is birthing. So pray God's will, pray God's understanding. The Holy Spirit will take you into the word and study this word. Take it deep. Realize don't be frightened. God said that how many times in this word? We are not to be frightened. We are under his blood covering. 
the book of Revelation. I can go through the Daniel, through Revelations, through Paul's writings. We are being prepared for these days through the scripture. So fear not. I'm going to read it one more time. And then I'm briefly going to pray for you folks today. Leave your comments, please. Thumbs up. Send it out. Um, this is an important word. Perhaps one of the most important words I've had in, I don't know, in many months. Amen. Okay. My lambs, soon and very soon, be ready, my child. Do not allow the world to tempt you. Watch and be ready. Be careful, child, what you see and where you go. The spirit of the world is round about. The enemy has no control in my children's lives, but he is in control on the streets. My lambs, stay in my word and in prayer. The pressure is mounting as my return will suddenly come. My lambs, I love you with all of my heart. I will be your light in the darkness. Fear not the future. Stay close to me in this day. You are my valuable vessel, chosen for such a day as this. My lambs, you are my kindness uh, on the dead streets. I come for you as a thief in the night. Time is short. Open my pages. There are many secrets still to be revealed. You will soon see an increase of activity. Man will move more quickly now. Evil will increase more quickly. Do not be afraid. I am with you. I am in all things. So fear not. Know I am the almighty God of the universe. I am in all things. All this is written in my pages. There will be new speed, new forward momentum. Fear not, my lambs. I come so quickly, so soon. You were chosen for such a day as this. You will soon see much confusion in the world around you. Leaders and men in high places have been taken over by the dark forces of this world, led by the evil one. Fear not. No, the upcoming days are written about in my word. But now I tell you to be prepared. Know my last pages. You will easily see the happenings on the streets. Again, my lambs, my spirit is with you, so fear not. Again, my lambs, my spirit is with you, so fear not. You will feel the heat, but you will not be burned. Uh, minister to those with the frightened faces. Some will come and some will continue to run away. Woe to their, woe to those, their end is near. My lambs, I come not to frighten you, but to ready you for the fire's coming. Remember, my lambs, I love you with all of my heart. I hold you, my blood upon you, my grace and mercy go with you. Hold your loved ones, share my love and salvation with all. Fear not the days ahead, I am with you until the ends of the earth and beyond. Glory to the Lamb of God forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit, Lord, that leads us into all wisdom, into all truths, Lord God. We are truly living in a world full of lies, uh, people led of the evil one, Lord God, and yet you are present. You are moving. You are filling us every day. You are encouraging us, God. You are taking away all of our fear, Lord God. Comfort your people today. Love your people today, Almighty God, and Lord, continue to lead us by your Spirit, and I pray today for each one listening that thy perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven this day and time, Lord God, the blood covering be upon their loved ones, their children, their grandchildren, God. Continue, Lord God, to lead us to all truths and to comfort us along the way with your grace and mercy. We love you. We praise you. We give you the glory and honor this day in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God be with you today. Um, please share this message. We should have, I would hope, 100 new subscribers uh, for his glory to spread the gospel. I'm feeling time is so short, my friends. Time is so short. And um, we need to be his vessel yielded <clears throat> in any small way we can be. Amen. So God bless you. God keep you. God loves you. Amen. No fear. No fear. We're under the blood of the living God. Amen. God bless you and keep you today. God bless.